All right, so <clears throat> I've had a couple different people ask me how I keep my smoker going. And I don't really have any secret, <laughs> like literally none whatsoever. But I'll tell you what I do that's a little bit different. Out on my patio, there are leaves left over from the uh, fall that I haven't cleaned up yet. When I clean these up, I actually take like two Walmart grocery bags and I fill them full of leaves. That's enough leaves to last me quite a while. But I start out by emptying any anything in it that's in there out. So I empty it out. Then I put a layer of leaves in the bottom. The next thing that I do is I'll find a piece of like cardboard or something like that and I'll light the cardboard and make sure the cardboard's going and I'll drop it in there and then I'll just put a couple of leaves in on top of it. The thing is, is to not get into a hurry. And I think that that's what a lot of people do. They get in a hurry. They overpack it. They get in a hurry. You got to let this build up. Like you think that I'm putting it out every time I put more leaves on there, but I'm not. It literally is just building up. Kind of smothers for a minute. Then the fire gets going. What I'm really doing is I'm letting it build up coals in there. See if I just give it a little bit of a twist. Now these leaves are not entirely dry because it's been raining in the last two days. But, you know, the, the top of them are dry and the bottom is not so much. But So then, once that I know that I've got a good bed of coals in there... Then I add bigger handfuls of leaves and I kind of like squish it down because now that you've got coals in there, you don't risk putting it out by adding more leaves to it. Now there's a mixture of both wet and dry leaves. The wet leaves will keep it from like burning out too fast. And you can see it'll, this thing will burn for hours once you close that lid.